What is up everyone, Arif here, and we are doing the final game in this Pearson collection that we've been going through, and this is the inventory management game. For this uh, particular scenario, we have to make a million dollars by selling amulets. I have no idea what these are. I'll get into that later, but I have no idea what these things do. Either way, we are going to get into this. We're going to skip right through the intro, and I will just walk you through what to do. So to begin with, we're going to look at the top here and we have our standard fare of alerts. We have our messages or reports, text messages and calls. As always, with almost all of these simulations, you can just ignore all of these red dots. It does not matter, has no bearing on the game whatsoever in a material way for yourself. The only thing you need to know is what does your amulet cost? So it costs you 95 bucks to buy and 200 to sell. And then your target goal, which this might change according to your prof, I'm not sure, but for me, it's a million dollars by the end of the year. Sales and liquidation just tells you if you have overstock, understock, you're going to be penalized. And that's pretty much it. So first we're going to do is do our order. And this is our very first order. And this is going to come immediately. This is the only order that will come immediately without us paying the rush fee. And once again, just like in the last video I did, the supply chain one, if you follow my guide, you won't ever have to do a rush order. You'll always have just in time ordering going and it'll just be a nice cycle for you. So to begin with, we're going to just start with 1000 units. This is a, this is a hundred grand. It is, it is a hefty amount of money, but follow with me on this. You are going to start off in the hole by the way. So just don't be too alarmed and your boss might be mad, but you can ignore him too. Let's go down here at the bottom. We see the boss meter. You can ignore this almost completely. You can't change the cost or the price that you sell amulets at. You're going to get a lot of emails and messages saying your profits are low. Okay. Hang on. We're going to stop here. So we saw there our order unit or our demand was 43 units. So that means we're selling 43 units a day. If we're selling 43 units a day, we can assume that for the month, 30 days in a month, we're in January. We're already halfway through. So at that we could do, mm, we should probably order 500 units. Ah, we should probably order 500 units, but we are going to actually order 750. And you can see at the bottom here, we're already turning a profit despite the fact we started a hundred grand in the hole, which is great. We're going to run another 77,000 in cost. So we're going to go back in the hole, but that's fine. When you're selling at $200 a unit, you're making a very healthy profit. So the actual cost does not matter. And your normal shipping day is five days and the cost is 6,000. But if you want to expedite it, you can overpay it by a huge amount, which we will never, ever do. Let's place the order. And, oh, yeah, there we go. So you're going to, if you're doing this correctly, you should always have a stair step graph going. Always. And always keep an eye on this demand counter right over here. We can see that we're selling 50 units a day and just round it off. Ne never like do the exact math, just round the damn thing off. So we're, we're going to say 60 units a day. If we're doing 60 units a day, we're already into February. We could do, we could do about 800. I never like to cross the thousand unit mark because I don't know how the game interprets that number. If you're going to overstock it, understock it kind of thing. I always like to stay in the hundreds. It seems to be a very nice area that the game doesn't penalize you on. Let's place the order. And like I said, all you have to do is get five days lead time. So, okay, I, I definitely missed time this one, but whatever. 750, we're fine. We're going to place our next order. And I know it seems like I just placed an order, but remember, five days lead time, you have to you have to lead your shot with this. So we should jump up right around now. And when it drops to about 500 again, I will place the next order. And that's what I do constantly. I just look at the demand and I just readjust in the in the hundreds between... Anywhere between 500 and 850 is normally my hovering spot for where I go for these kind of unit numbers. But you can see we're already into February. We've already cleared 10% of our total goal, which is great. And we have our next stair step graph. So if we look at this quarter, you can see that is how it should look all the time. 400. I didn't see what the demand was. Demand is 50, 50 units. We're going to place 850. And this is it. This is the entire game. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. You just have to stair step this thing and just make sure you're always leading your shot. So as this simulation just keeps going, this is really it. Look at your demand. Look at what month you're in and just do the math accordingly. You can almost always assume 
that's going to be about the same demand for the month. There's never really huge fluctuations. I really screwed up this one. So we're going to do uh, 850. We're going to do 850. We are going to run out of stock. We are about to hit a, a stock out here in a second. Three, two. Yep, yeah, there it is. So we should go back into stock now. Our, oh, wow. We're crushing it. I've never gotten this before. Holy crap. I've literally never gotten that before. I've done this. This is my fourth time doing this game. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. 750. But yeah, this is it. You can't ever change the sale price, which is unfortunate because you could probably make your profit way quicker if you were able to change the sale price, but that's just not possible. We are going to take a look here just for a quick second. They'll send you all these things about forecasts. It, it Once again, it has no material value to you. It doesn't change anything about the game. It doesn't change how the game operates. I don't know what it's here for. Emails are just absolutely useless. You can just ignore this too. And we have text messages. I don't even know who, I think these are your employees, but it doesn't matter. And then calls, you can ignore just all the calls. In fact, just ignore everything. Don't even worry about this. It's not worth your time. So we're selling 40 units a day. Let's do, if we're doing 40 units a day, we're on May 2nd. Let's do 850 again. Like I said, never cross that thousand unit barrier. Always kind of keep it at around 850. That's that's where you want it to be. It's it's your best hovering spot. Uh, yeah. So with that said, this is really it. Uh, I'm just gonna speed the footage up here for the rest of the few months, and if there's something to talk about, I will come back in and let you guys know. So let's go through the rest of the months. Okay, and I am back. Well, you can see we're now entering November, December. We're now into December. At these last three months, uh, October, November, December, you wanna start really kind of limiting your order quantities. And this is very true for December. You don't want to have any extra overstock because that will penalize you. So I'm gonna start ordering in very low quantities, 500, 250 kind of thing. But you can see we're at 950,000. It's gonna be cutting it real close here. We're, it's going to be very, very tight. In fact, we're not actually even going to make this next order because there's just no way we're going to make that goal. And, oh, we just came up, came up so, so short. But overall, we did just fine. So here's your readout of your entire progress of the game. You can see I did better than last time, but the one before this video, I did like $1.1 million dollars. It's kind of just understanding how to do your ordering for that particular period. 
And there you guys have it. That is how you do the Pearson simulation for inventory management. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment box down below if this video helped you or if I screwed something up or if you understand an aspect of the game that I just missed. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye.